Hey, so here's a quick tip on how to use Isotope RX's mouth declick. So what you will find on a lot of dialogue is that most people have a natural mouth click or um, some smacks and some people do it more, some people do it less. So as a editor and a sound designer, we want to make sure that we clean those out and get rid of those sounds because it can be really distracting, particularly once you notice it and if you're wearing your headphones where everything's super hyped up and you can't stop listening to it. So if we open up Isotope RX and the mouth de-click option, we've got our audio here, which has a few clicks and a few smacks in it. Let's listen to it untreated. It's really interesting, those sort of intangibles. And I'm drawn to this idea that uh, Tony was saying, you know, so you can hear in her voice that there's some clicks, there's more smacks and that general mouth noise that, to be honest, a lot of people won't notice. But as soon as you do notice it, it's quite distracting. You want to get rid of that. So if we open up mouth the click here on Isotope RX, they've got a really nice preset called Reduce Smacks. And what that does is focus on the lower frequencies and those clicks that appear around the bottom end of those frequencies. So if we select all and compare here, so this is it before again. It's really interesting, those sort of intangibles, and I'm drawn to this idea. That and now here's it with mouth click applied. It's really interesting, those sort of intangibles, and I'm drawn to this idea that uh, Tony was saying. Completely removed. And what's quite cool, if you want to just check what you're losing, is if you select output clicks only, and we preview that. And you can hear exactly what we're taking out there. So we untick that, click render, and hear it back. Really interesting, those sort of intangibles. And I'm drawn to this idea that uh, Tony was saying. And there we go, some nice clean dialogue without any of those mouth clicks.